Welcome back Minties, the Astonishing Melanie here, and today I'm going to do an overview of a Viz original manga, Fangirl, based on the novel Fangirl by Rainbow Rowe, so please stay tuned. I'd like to thank the folks at Viz for sending us a review copy. This manga was published October 13th, and it retails for $16.99, and as I said, it's based on a novel by Rainbow Rao. This novel here, that actually I went out and bought as soon as I finished this. This is volume one. I had to know what happened. And like I said, this is part of the Viz original line, therefore it was not published in Japan. Before we open her up, let's take a quick look at size comparison. So here we have Viz Signature, the lovely Masoni Koku, and here we have Viz Media. So it's a size, good size, I feel, in between the two. The book starts off with basically an explanation of what the main character, Kath, is fangirling over. The Simon Snow series, a big parody of the Harry Potter series. In fact, let me show you on the back, we have the two characters from the series she loves, Simon and Baz. Kath has a twin, Ren. Get it, Kath, Ren. And they're both going off to college. However, Kath feels left behind and is very insecure in this college adventure. So here we have Ren. She even cut her hair so that she could be a different identity, a new person that is not always confused with her sister. The story focuses on Kath meeting three different people her roommate, Robin's boyfriend, question mark? I'm not actually not quite sure. Uh, Leslie and Nick, who is part of her writing class. There's Simon and Baz. And as you can expect with a story like this, she's going to crush on or be crushed upon by the two guys that have been introduced so far. I like Kath because she reminds me of the issues I went through in college, my freshman year. Albeit that she doesn't try that hard. She is very anxious. She feels like it's a prison and her only escape is writing, which she's not able to do when you have a roommate that's just in your room taking up your mental space. Again, I really um, relate to that. Our dreams of college were dashed upon the rocks below. So here she is with Nick, who is a great writer. They're both in a fiction writing class. They start writing together, and they're a really good team. Robin, her roommate, helps her to actually go out and eat at the cafeteria. Um, she, uh, Kath was too afraid to go out and try to figure out how it works without everybody staring and judging her. So I went out and bought the book, not because I feel like it's going to be a huge mystery and I have to find out what happens next, but to just experience... A story with a character that I can relate to. It's very down to earth along with the, you know, the tried and true stereotypical like, oh, there are two guys. Which one do I go with? Ah, that's, that's fun. So this manga is adapted with lines straight from the book. In fact, as I was reading, I could just skip a little bit and skim because I was like, I've read all of this like verbatim. I like how Sam Mags planned out the scenes. And Gabby Nam, who is a South Korean artist, draws uh, the character's facial expressions, which is a huge focus in manga. Adding in the cutesy element along with the dramatic element. Now, Rainbow Rowell has, of course, written other books, Young Adult Fiction, Carry On, Almost Midnight. This author has also worked on comics such as Runaways and Pumpkinheads. We've got 216 page count with thick matte paper. Can you hear it? And glue binding. So very standard. Only once did I notice while reading that there was a little bit of gutter loss. Um, there was text. I can't find it, but there was text and I kind of had to bend it open to get into those last words. But other than that, I think it was fine. So I strongly recommend this for people who enjoy young adult fictions, the romance stories, where it's like love triangle. Um, where it's very focused on the characters. Oh, in fact, I forgot to mention that Leslie, he seems like a really cool guy. The other, you know, boy that you're like, ooh, maybe she'll end up with him. He's always smiling and joking around, and I'm kind of waiting for the other shoe to drop. Like, what's his backstory? Nick, the author that she's working with, seems more down to earth and more of a realistic relationship they could have between the two. So we'll see. 
Comment below if you've read this book, if you um, have read other things by Rainbow Rowell that you would like to suggest to me, because like I said, um, I'm really enjoying this. Thank you so much for supporting us by hitting that like button to help the channel grow, sponsor, uh, supporting us through Patreon and Redbubble, and as always, stay minty!